we're looking at the Microcut PBM for EVS Plus Nemil. And with this Nemil, we have a four axis digital readout system built in, four axis readout by Prototrack, the EMX control. But this is a digital readout on steroids because not only does it have the four axes, the table has motors built in so that you have automatic movement on the X and Y. And so what that means is by going into the digital readout mode, I can now jog the X axis, the Y axis, press the minus button, I'll go in the opposite direction. If I need to return back to zero with a button press, press go, safety first, make sure the quill's retracted, press go and it'll take you back to zero. You can power feed, so if I need to power feed, say on the Y axis, 1.24, whatever, put in a number, press INC, incremental set, and so when you're ready to go, press go, and it starts moving. Your, uh, your feed right here is 10 inches per minute. You can bump that up, bump it down just by using the two arrow keys here. Once it's done, it's done. Hit return, and the other thing that you can do is you can teach the display off of an existing part, so if you're not working from a blueprint, you can touch off on the various points on the part and teach those points in to the control because this is a fully programmable control and so when I hit the mode button here uh, it'll take me back to the main menu or I can hit program and so for instance if I wanted to program this part here we'll take a look at how we'll do that we have the uh, bolt hole circle and an irregular shape here so let's take a look at how we would enter that into the control. We'll go to the beginning and when you're programming you can put a uh, drill a hole or a bolt hole with this one, mill a line, make an arc, do a pocket or a frame and then you can also subgroup and I'll show you that in another video. So let's start off with uh, drilling one hole or a bolt hole, in this particular case it's a bolt hole. It's going to ask us how many holes the center, radius, angle, etc. So here we have five holes. We'll say that 0, 0 is in the center of our piece. We have a radius of 1.25 and the angle of the first hole, always measured from 3 o'clock going counterclockwise, is 45 degrees. So five holes. Hit either set button when you do it. Uh, zero set or just set will assume zero save you a button press radius we said was 1.25 angle of the first hole is 45 degrees and let's say our tool number one is our drill and it's a quarter inch all right let's take a look we have a look button here there we have our bolt hole that's one of the nice things about this digital readout system. You don't have to rely just on the numbers that you see LED wise. You can actually see a picture of what you're doing. So next what we'll do is we'll start off from down here and since we have motors on the table we can climb mill even though it's a manual machine. And so we'll start off down here and we'll climb mill all the way around this way. So down here our starting point will be zero on X and on Y it's going to be a minus 2.45. So we're going to mill a line. We're going to start at 0 and 2.45 negative. We're going to end off up here which is a positive 0.5045 on the Y and a minus 3.064 on the X. So 3.064 negative and a positive 0 0.5045. Now, Conrad just means there's a connecting radius. Conrad, connecting radius. So we're connecting two points with a radius. In this particular case, we do have a radius of 0 0.841. Now, when we're doing the cutting here, and we're going this way, it's asking us will the tool be on the left side of the line, the right side of the line, or going down the center of the line that we're programming in. And this time it's going to be on the left side. So we say tool left is 2. The feed rate, let's say, will go 15 inches per minute. I'm not a machinist, so you just uh, punch in whatever is appropriate if that's too fast or too slow. Uh, tool number 1 was the drill. We'll say tool number 2 is our end mill 
and it's going to be a half inch end mill. And do we want to continue on to another step? We'll say yes, which is one right there. And so we're going to continue milling. And so we're going to go up to this line here. So again, we're going to be at zero on the X. And now we're going to be a positive 2.45. So we're going to continue milling, end off at zero and 2.45 positive. There's no connecting radius, so we just hit set to skip it. And we will continue, press one. And we'll continue with an arc, because we'll continue and do this arc right here. So again, the center of the arc is zero, zero. The radius is 2.45. So we'll continue with an arc. We're gonna end off where we started, which was zero and minus 2.45. 2.45 negative there. Center is 0, 0, center of the workpiece. There's no connecting radius, so we skip that. And we're going to be milling in a clockwise direction, so that's 1. And are we going to continue? No. So take a look at what we've just done, and there is our um, irregular shape, I guess. So we have one more step to do here, which is going to be a pocket. And that's going to be this one here. And so you have a circular or a rectangular pocket. Or we do a profile, a circular or a rectangular profile. In this case, it is a pocket. So we're going to say circular pocket. The center is the center of our piece, which is 0, 0. And the radius is 0.75. So 0, 0, radius is 0.75. Uh, when we're doing... Um, Climb milling on the inside, that means we're going to go counterclockwise. So we'll say two for counterclockwise to counter mill. We can leave a little bit for a finishing cut with this pocket. So we can say leave uh, point zero 0.01. And the feed rate carries over from the previous step. If we're okay with that, press that. Uh, and then if you want to slow it down for the finishing, to get a nicer finish, we can put 12 set and we're still using tool number two, and the diameter is still a half inch. So we take a look, and we just put in our pocket. So as you can see, this is a fully functional digital readout system with all the programmability that you would need, like your regular readout, but the beauty is that you have the ability to take a look at the piece that you're going to be cutting before you actually do it. And then what you would do is you just go to run it, and it would run the part for you. So again, the X and Y is automatic movement, so the, the machine will move the table itself, and you're responsible for just moving the quill. And that is how the ProTrack EMX control looks in programs.